Hello, welcome back to Securing Network with Cisco Firepower Threat Defense. I'm Nanda. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between FMC, Firepower Management Center, and FDM, Firepower Device Manager, to manage your NICGEN firewall, that is Firepower Threat Defense. In this video, I'm going to take you through management options available to manage your Firepower Threat Defense 6.1. As you all know that currently the FTD 6.1 support on platform FPR4100 series and FPR9300 series. It is also supported on AAC platform right from AAC5506-X, 5508 all the way to 5555-X IFNX series platform. In order to manage Firepower Threat Defense FTD 6.1, you have two options. The first one is FMC, Firepower Management Center. The second option is FDM, Firepower Device Manager. I'm going to talk more in detail about the difference between FMC and FDM. Please note that with F FTD 6.1, the FDM, the Firepower Device Manager, is currently not supported on FPR4100 and FPR9300 series. It is only supported on lower and medium uh, range firewall, which is AAC5506, all the way to 5555-X series platform. So, what's the difference between FMC and FDM? When you have more than one firewall in your network and you want to manage them, through centrally, you could choose FMC, Firepower Management Center, which is a centralized software to manage all your firewalls. This FMC can manage FTD Firepower Threat Defense on any of your hardware platform, and it can manage FTD virtual form. It can manage Firepower on running on 7K and 8K series platform, next gen IPS virtual form. And also it can manage your FIPO services running on AAC, that is AAC with FIPO services. FDM on the other hand, when you have a single device and you want to manage and you don't want to have any external management center, you could choose to use F FDM. FMC, it's a multi-device manager for all your FIPO devices, be it FTD or your FIPO next gen IPS or AAC with FIPO services. You could manage all your firepower devices through FMC. It collects events from all the all your firepower devices, and it does event correlation and reporting. It has an advanced analytical and event correlation with all the events that are collected from all the devices. On the other hand, we have Firepower Device Manager, which is a web-based management software. It's an on box, which means that the service is running on your FTD's box. FTM is similar to your ASDM, wherein the service is running on your FTD. Unlike ASDM, this FDM does not require any Java. It's a clientless and it's a web based uh, management software. And just like your ASDM, it is a single device management software. It is a very simple and better user experience. It has a simple workflow and a wizard diagram to help the network admin to configure the F FTD easily. Before choosing FDM or FMC to configure a Firepower Threat Defense, you need to understand which all features are available on FMC and FDM. Not all the features are available on FDM. If you look at this chart, some of the features like site-to-site, -site, security intelligence, and rate limiting are not available on FDM, Firepower Threat Def Device Manager. If you have a single firewall with FTD and want to run on routed mode, and you really don't want to run it on a failover pair, and you want very simple basic firewall to be enabled with static routing, probably you might want to choose FDM, Firepower Device Manager, to manage your FTD. But if you wanted to have a high availability 
or ran it on a transmit firewall or a routed mode with advanced ACL NAT and then uh, dynamic routing protocols and other advanced security firewall features such as security intelligence, side to side VPN, rate limiting. You might have to use Firepower Management Center to manage your FTD. So, what do you require for running an FMC or FDM? To run an FMC, you need an either hardware or a virtual form. On hardware, you have three different platforms on this FS750, FS2000, and FS4000. Depending on number of sensors that you are planning to manage, you could choose any of these three models, or you can choose to run it on a virtual form, which is on VMware. Running an FMC requires a licensing. On the other hand, FDM, it does not require any hardware or a virtual. You can directly access the FDM on your FTD. And it's completely free. It's You don't require any licensing to, uh, to manage your FTD through FDM. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope with this information, you'll be able to choose whether you want FMC or FDM to manage your firepower threat defense. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you. See you soon in another video.